everybody, welcome back to the Gentry YouTube channel with me, Jen. Hope you're all doing okay. Today's activity is a sensory art activity, which I know have proven very popular in the past on the Gentry YouTube channel, so I was keen to show this one to you as well. Now, if you've watched any of the sensory art activities before on the Gentry YouTube channel, you will know by now that I am all about process-based art rather than outcome-based art because we are looking at the process for our learners. That is the most important bit of the artistic process. And I know that that sometimes challenges our own thought process about what art actually is, but I want you to really, really take away any assumptions you've got about the importance of creating something at the end of it because actually the beauty in these activities and essentially to me, the art itself is in the process. That's where our learning is gonna happen that's where our exploration is going to happen and ultimately that's when our learner is going to start understanding the world around them and for our sensory learners that's what art is all about that is the reason that we're doing art not necessarily to make a beautiful picture at the end that we can whack on our wall even if that happens to be a happy byproduct at the end <laughs> Now fundamentally when we think of art in a traditional sense we're thinking about something that stimulates our sense of vision but for our learners we really want to kind of pair up some of the senses we want to bring about that lovely sensory integration so for a lot of my art activities and definitely this one we're trying to bring in that sense of touch as well for a lot of our learners with physical impairments that ability to do the hand to eye coordination so that reaching out and touching something bringing it close exploring it hasn't happened because they're physical limitations and when that doesn't happen you miss out on a lot of the exploratory procedures that you need to understand how the world works and understand how things behave and what the properties are of those things. So with that in mind, it's up to us to bring activities to our learner that give them that opportunity to understand all the different things, all the different sensations that the world can bring to us. Now at this point I just want to mention sensory modalities and I mentioned sensory modalities in some of my other gentry videos and the way that I want you to view this is having the sort of senses at the top. Sensory modalities are the broken down part from that. So we've got the senses at the top, however many you want to argue there are. The sensory modalities are just the different properties that each of those senses kind of brings about. So if we're thinking about touch, the sensory modalities that we can focus in on might be temperature, might be pressure, might be vibration, might be texture. Okay, so it's all the different individual properties that help us to have an understanding of what touch actually is. So for this particular activity today, we're focusing in on touch and texture being the main kind of sensory modality. Fundamentally, this is a painting activity. So I've got some orange paint here that I've just mixed up and some black. White might work as well if you're using black card. Don't forget as well, you can make taste safe paint out of spices, out of coffee beans, anything like that. So if you've got learners who you think are just gonna mouth paint, obviously that can sometimes disrupt the flow of an art based activity if you feel that you're just gonna be manically watching them to stop them eating so much paint. So do consider the developmental age of your learner um, and decide whether you think paint is an appropriate thing to use or not. I have done a whole video about spice painting, so do check that out, it's in the autumn playlist of Gentsui. Um, but yeah, know your learner and make the paint up and then obviously we've got paper or card actually, which kind of works better. And um, I've just got a kind of creamy one here, a black one and some orange. So just going down a kind of animalistic sort of um, art based color scheme really. Um, and then we've got things that are gonna give us that lovely somatic, really, really nice sort of tactile experience for our learner. Um, and obviously we're focusing in here on the texture of it. So I've got some things that are just gonna give us lots and lots of lovely sensory feedback. So one of the main things that we're using for this activity are these fantastic Lego boards. Now you can get a pack of these in B&M for eight quid and they're just brilliant. I use them for all kinds of stuff. They give obviously a lot, a lot, a lot of auditory feedback if we're scraping on them, but they give a lovely, lovely bumpy texture to them. Um, and that's just gonna help with our exploratory procedures of our learner. That's gonna give them a lot of sensory feedback um, as well as creating a kind of almost leopard print type print. Um, so yeah, that's just gonna be a really nice way of getting that really, really nice sense of texture um, up to our learners and getting all those neuroreceptors kind of fired up. So yeah, these are really great. They come in a pack of I think five or six. So you get lots of different size boards. Um, I think the biggest one is really quite big as well. So that's really, really worth the money, I thought. 
Also then to create a kind of striped effect, I've got a cooling rack here. Now you can use a grill pan, anything like that. But again, we're gonna get the sort of auditory feedback of that as well as the kind of sensation that we get when we run our hands over it. Bear in mind if you've got learners with really, really severe physical impairments who might not be able to do this kind of motion themselves, just give them a little bit of gentle support under the elbow, watch for those communicational cues about whether they want you to do that or not, and please, please respect their wishes if they don't. Um, but yeah, just give them a little bit of gentle support, um, and obviously role modelling as well, but just kind of running their hands over it can give so much sensory feedback. We sometimes underestimate how much feedback that gives our learners who haven't had that opportunity to really reach out and have that hand-eye coordination and all those lovely exploratory um, and investigative kind of activities through their childhood because of their limitations. We underestimate how much they missed. So, you know, if you're working with adults or, you know, teenagers, don't underestimate how much feedback that will give them. It really will give them more than we can really, really envisage. Um, and just go at their pace because it can sometimes be a frightening thing to suddenly get a sound when you run your hand over it. And, you know, even me doing that, it, it's a real almost vibration sense. We're almost kind of bringing in that sensory modality of vibration as well when we do it fast. So, yeah, don't underestimate the power of it. Don't underestimate how strong a sensation that might be. Um, and really roll with your learners with it and repeat, 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 repeat. I say it all the time, but just keep following their cues and repeating the action. So yeah, they're the two things that we've got. We've got our Lego boards and we've got our cooling rack. And then it's just about adding some paint onto this, onto the cooling rack and letting your learner explore. Now, probably before I'd even consider adding the paint, I would let my learner just have a good old feel of this and the cooling rack on its own, just so they're getting that lovely kind of somatic, tactile based feeling sensation from it um, long before you've added anything wet to the mix because again that's going to just change the sensory dynamic of it um, so yeah just let them have a little explore of it themselves first and then you can add in the paint and just let them move let them see how that feels um, and then fundamentally you can pop a print on if you want to at the end but again if you don't make it to that bit you've still done art you've still had that process, you've still let that learner have a really, really lovely experience. Um, and as I say, sometimes learners don't, won't necessarily like this. This might be quite an overwhelming sensation to start off with, but don't rule it out based on the first time that you do this activity. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, guide it, role model it, bring the joy to the activity, and you are essentially opening the world up slowly for them. Because actually we're all fearful of things that we've never experienced before. Um, and it's about being skillful facilitators in being able to bring these activities to them in a joyful way. So that actually it's not something to be feared. Um, so yeah, just repeat this. I would do this six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even times over and over again so that my learner has the best opportunity to really start to regulate and anticipate what's going to happen. Um, and with that comes a really, really nice sense of well-being. I'm just going to show you some of the effects that you can make with this. Obviously, it's not really about the end product, but I think it's always nice to just kind of see it in action. Um, lastly, I will say about these boards is that there is another pattern on the other side as well. So they are double sided and create different patterns. So um, yeah, they're just brilliant all round, really. But yeah, have loads of fun with it. Don't negate how long it might take for your learner to process this whole activity. Leave a lot of time for it. Repeat it and let me know how you get on.
that's me done for today if you enjoyed the video guys please do give it a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so for more ideas and activities like this in your life I'll see you next time for another video to continue the Into the Wild theme that I've got running all the way through this month. But until then, everybody, take care, and I'll see you all very soon.